Hello everyone and welcome back to Destiny. It is week 43 of year 2, Arc Burnt has taken over the director, and it's time to let the thunder flow through you. Starting off with the challenge of the Elders, we have Berserk, Precision Kill Bonus, and Small Arms. Another great week for synergy between modifiers. The big baddies for this week start with the Wretched Knight with his perimeter of Taken Bombs, the Seditious Mind with his Hot Zone Area of Effect attacks, and finally my homeboy Kexus the Betrayed with his Suppression Bombs. Since it is Small Arms and Precision Kill bonus, it's a great week to try out Hand Cannons if you've been reluctant until now. A few recommendations I can make is the Devil You Know, the Imago Loop, or Lord High Fixer. The perks I recommend best for this activity include things like Hidden Hand, Triple Tap, Spray and Play, or Outlaw. For exotics, any of them will do. You have Hawk Moon, Ace of Space for the Hunter, and the First Curse. Moving on to this week's Nightfall, we have Cerberus Fay 3, and the modifiers start with Arcburn, Brawler, Fresh Troops, and Ironclad. The Nightfall wasn't too difficult until you realize that almost every enemy shoots Arc. If you have the Zala Supercell, I definitely recommend using it, and I highly recommend using your Arc subclass. Arcblade and Fist of Havoc received some very generous buffs recently, and it definitely shows in the Nightfall. Now the only thing I really recommend watching out for are the Tortured Scion. If you let them multiply too much, they will absolutely destroy you. With all that in mind, you should be able to get through the Nightfall with no problem, and make sure to finish off Phallus to Arik with a super, because it feels amazing. And finally, we have the best parts of the Challenge of Elders and the Nightfall combine for the Vanguard Heroic Strikes. Now we have Arkburn and Small Arms. If you're looking for a break from PvP from last week's Iron Banner and are looking to have just a lot of fun, you can't go wrong with the Heroic Strike playlist this week. It's also a perfect time to farm exotic engrams if you need to, because you're going to breeze through all of these strikes. So strap on your Zalo Supercell and your favorite Arc subclass and just have fun. Also this week we got the Moments of Triumph book for Year 2, and while a lot of the hardcore players have finished the book already, a few of us still have a few things to accomplish. The number one thing that people seem to not have completed yet are the Calcified Fragments for the Court of Oryx and the Raids. Now, if you're looking to jump in the Raids and still haven't, I definitely recommend giving my videos a watch on these topics. A while back, I created a bunch of videos designed to help you jump into raiding, and I also created videos on how to beat the challenge modes. So I simply recommend watching any of these videos and jumping into any of the Destiny LFGs. And all of those communities are chock full of people wanting to help out first timers, so take advantage of it. I myself started out not having a big group of friends to play with, and I finally bit the bullet with LFG sites last February, and I'm still beating myself up for not doing it sooner and robbing myself of the vanilla raid experience. But anyways, what are your thoughts on this week's activities, and what milestones are you missing in your moments of triumph? You might even find someone that needs the same thing down in the comments. Drop a like if you can, and subscribe for more Destiny content, and I will see you all next time. It is July 7th, 7-7, which is Bungie Day. And with that, we have the release of the Moments of Triumph for Year 2.